there's something about the commitment to keep mission, um, the willingness to try something new, to stretch beyond yourself. It's almost like the moment you start getting fully insular, you know, something dies within the life of the church. And I just admire so much about your ministry and um, the ministry of Beulah to keep thinking, how can we try to reach out? How do we kind of reach out? I want to pivot to kind of just chat about your own journey as a minister, um, being in one spot for 30 years. How do, how do you keep your own heart tender to the Lord and tender to the people? I mean, there's just something about um, being in ministry that can feel like it kind of sucks you dry sometimes. And just wonder as you reflect back on, yeah, how did you keep that heart tender? I think actually quite intentionally a number of things. So I'll, I'll share I'll share them. Please do. Uh, obviously, it's my personal time in, it, with the Lord. And, and what does that look like? And every pastor has that routine, whether it's a, a day retreat, whether it's you know, that morning time that, that um, I call it the Nehemiah's midnight ride, where he just goes and he's thinking about things. But you can tell he's really kind of going, God, what do I do? You know, um, but you need that personal time. The second one would be is, is uh, being a lifelong learner, feeding the soul. And uh, and making sure that there's just a steady diet of of uh, those things that are going to be enriching. And uh, the, the third one is the people you're you're circling around. Mm. I had I had uh, trusted elders that I built great relationship with that I could be very open and transparent with. And I tell pastors, you know, love on your elders and and uh, and and really create a culture of openness and trust. And, and I, if ever there's an elder listening to this, it's so important to your pastor that you have those open, trustworthy, transparent relationship. It kept my heart uh, replenished because I had those those um, sheltering tree friendships and encouragement mm. of leaders. I, I purposely uh, circled around with some other pastors that I did life with. Mm. And uh, someone asked me about, as you end this season, What's, what's the harder things to do? I said, it's interesting. I think of Paul's expression in Ephesians where he says that uh, there was, you know, that said they held each other, they wept as he said goodbye to the, the elders, that there was this kind of a band of brothers kind of thing. Uh, I've, I've been with some pastoral groups that I've been able to journey with over the years where we could be iron sharpens iron, have transparent, open relationship with. That lifted my heart. Hmm. And, uh, and so... I really value that. That was hard to say, hey, we're, I'm not going to be maybe in those settings as I once was. I thought, I really value those. Those things were helpful for me. And uh, and then just also placing myself in those situations, whether it's podcasts, uh, teachers, uh, what are the things that are going to be feeding my soul? So mm. to, stay, to stay vital over 30 years, um, I think it was really important to stay intentional about that. 